Faith Exchange family. Hello to everyone online. I just want to give a few quick announcements. Our service times are Sunday, intercessory prayer at 10 a.m., and worship in the Word at 10.30 a.m. And we have Wednesday, 12 to 1 p.m., noon hour prayer. You can come as long as you'd like, 10, 20 minutes, or the entire hour. And Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. So make sure you come out so you can be blessed. And a reminder, hot meals for our volunteers are still needed. Please email Rachel Chicarico at faithexchange at gmail.com and put in the subject line hot meals for FER volunteers or call 201-370-7709. Also, groceries are available at the Rockaway site. For more information, you can call Rachel Chicarico. And also, we are proud to announce that Faith Exchange Rockaway Park is now open. I actually got a chance to check it out on Saturday. It was wonderful. And it was great just seeing the community come together. What, right, Kathy? You were there. It was wonderful. So make sure that you get a chance to go out there either on Thursday at 7 p.m. or Saturday at 5.30 p.m. And the address is Beach 106 and Rockaway Beach Boulevard in Rockaway Park, New York. It's right by the Rite Aid. And if you have any questions, please contact Bishop Brent Turnipseed or Rachel Jacarico. And this Sunday, we're celebrating Pastor Dan's birthday. So after the service, there will be refreshments, so stick around and everyone's invited. And also this Sunday, we're going to have our Deeper Life Master Class at 2 p.m. Pastor Dan is so selfless that even on his birthday, he's serving us. Isn't that awesome? So make sure you come. And Tuesday, July 2nd, is our next Deeper Life Conference call. The number is 712-432-3100, and the passcode is 473379, and that will be at 8 p.m. July 2nd. And we will have a baby dedication July 28th. Please email Rachel Chicarico at faithexchange at gmail.com if you want to have your baby dedicated that day. And also Tuesday, July 30th, Jesse Duplantis will be here, so make sure you come out to that as well. Well, that's about it for the announcements. Unless there's anything else, I will pass it to you, Errol. Amen, amen, amen. Awesome. Thank you, Erica. Let's give our praise and worship team a praise. Grand type of praise. Amen. That was so awesome. I was enjoying myself. I could have sat there the whole night. Um, good evening, Faith Exchange. Good evening. How are you? I have been, I've, I am honored and excited to be able to give you the word tonight. Um, you know, when I was asked to do that, I be, it's, such a, it's such a responsibility, but it's such a, a thrill for God to trust you to give 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 his holy writ to give his holy word you know and I, and I thank the, the 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 angel of this house pastor Dan and pastor Ann for entrusting me to convey the the word word of the lord um, before I start I do want to say hello to the families out uh, I got New York family I got Pennsylvania family Indianapolis family they're just tuning in tonight so I'm going to say hello to them and of course my FEF family good I got bless you tonight as well um, I am Arrow Footman. I'm head of the, the, the Ministry of Helps here, um, and you know I'm just one of the faithful few, one of the faithful few who serve, amen. And I'm in a serving uh, in a ministerial capacity tonight, but I, I am still serving, amen. So with no further ado, I'm going to bring you the word, amen. Because I believe there's a word. Father, I thank you tonight. I decrease so you may increase. So when they see me or hear me, they hear you. There is no separation in us. Father, I thank you for using me tonight. I pray that the people take your word and apply it to their life. And use it. And have prosperity in everything they do. This I pray in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. If you walk with me to uh, Matthew, Matthew the seventh chapter, uh, verse twenty-one, and of course I'm in the red letters. Amen. <laughs> and it reads, "Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in the kingdom of heaven, 
But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me that that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have we cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken them unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And then the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and it beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. So far the scriptures. Amen. Tonight, uh, as I was preparing for this word, Father, I ask, I ask you to allow me to teach tonight. He told me that this is examination time tonight. He gave me a question. And the question was this. Are you living the victorious life? Amen? And it's not in a judgmental question. It's a, it's a, it's a question that it's an introspective. It's a, it's a self-examination. Amen? It's a question that defined it. Are we meeting the mark? Are we... Are we his reflection? Are we representing him here on earth? Amen? Because a lot of us, you know, we, 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 come to, we come to church and then we grab a seat and we hear the word. And, 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 and we hear the word and we hear the word. And, and we believe it's just for us. We don't, we don't do what the word says and we expect results. We expect to win. We expect to, to be on top on, on every on, on, in every, every opportunity. We, we expect to be winners. But we're, we're, we're selfish in, in our in our in our uh, in our believing that everything just as long as I go to church everything is okay. Believing that as long as I sit here and, and God knows, that, knows I'm here so that, that's, that's enough to win. Amen. But I, I, I say, no, we, we have to be not only doers, but hearers of the word also. Amen? And the word said it's like when we do the sayings that our father has, has put forth, we're like a wise man who's built a house on the rock. And everything that comes against it, amen, everything that comes towards you, you will not lose because we're building on, on that foundation that can't be moved. Amen? Now, our Lordship of Christ in people's lives is, is, is the difference between our spiritual success and failure. Amen? We have to truly answer that question for ourselves. Amen? Calling the Lord but never following His instructions, that's a contradiction. That's, a, that, that's really a waste of time. Because that, that's not the formula we need. We need to hear and we need to do. Amen? It's a sh if, if the Lord is the Lord of our lives, we should carefully attend to this word. Amen? Here at Faith Exchange, we are trained in the red letters. Why the red letters? Because the red letters is what God said. Amen? Uh, Joe, can we do something with this sound? It's going in and out. Amen? Maybe if we turn off the air conditioning. That was just a pause. This is live. Amen. <laughs> what, a sad, what a sad day we, to handle this word and to have witnessed miraculous action and miss out on a victorious life. I mean, yes, we're, going, we're saved. We're going to heaven. Amen. But you're missing out on living life to the fullest. We're missing out on, on, on being all that we can be. We, we take our time, we, we, we come to church, we, 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 we read the word, but why, why do you do all of that just to get by? Why do all of that just to, 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 just, just to make it? When I read this word, it's not just to make it. When I read this word, it, it shows me how to win. It shows me how to, to, to beat the odds. 
It doesn't matter my race or, or creed or religion. It doesn't, it doesn't, excuse me. It does matter if I follow the instructions that Abba, my father, has given me. Let me clear that up. Amen. But it doesn't matter what these earthly limitations that people put, put before us. None of that matters. Amen. Jesus warned, uh, you know, our prophesying and casting out devils and performing, performing many works do not guarantee our spiritual house is in order. Amen? We got to hear the word and walk it out. Because what happens is our success is in following the instructions. He's already ordered out a path for us. All we have to do is just get on it and walk it through. Amen? But what happens is we let trials and, and tribulations get in our way. We let, you know, things stop us. We let things hinder us. We, we, we'll find every excuse not to do. You know, when we, when we go to different churches and we find, you know, big churches, but when it's time to get the work done, it's only a faithful few. Amen? That should not be. All of us are hearing the word. All of us are hearing the word. Amen. But it's only a faithful few who takes the time out. Take the time out to, to do what the word is telling us to do. Amen. But what we're doing, we're selling ourselves short. We're missing out. It's in our doing. It's, it's in our following the instruction. It's, it's in our uh, uh, listening to this, to this word and moving forward. Amen. With no fear. Because what's fear? Fear is a false evidence appearing real. There is no fear in us when we stand boldly in this word. Amen? I mean, something, we, we come to church and we think that we, we got it all together. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I heard that scripture before. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know what's in there. I ain't got to read that again. I just sit right here. Don't worry about it. Amen? But then we go out when, when trials come, we, 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 we buckle. We shouldn't be buckling. Amen? This word... Helps us stand. We stand boldly. Amen. It, this, I heard a comedian one time said, because we are with the Father. I hear him say, he goes, who you with? Amen. We with him. Who's bigger and better to take him on? Nobody. So what I, all I'm saying is today, we, we, let's get rid of that double-mindedness. Amen. Let's, let's, just, just, let's just say yes to him. Amen. Because when we say yes to him, everything is afforded, is, is afforded to us. Everything that we, we want, all our desires, because it's his desire he puts inside of us. Amen? Amen. This is what I'm, I'm telling us. That to, let's take this examination. And not just you, all of us. Because all of us come short. Amen? Amen? Ain't none of us perfect. Yes. No. We don't have to reveal everything that, that's going on with us. You know, some of the things that, you know, that, that we say that hinder us from coming. We don't want to go to church because they're going to find out this is going on or find out that's going on. That's not what it's about. Amen. I, let me just say, this is one of the churches that is nothing but love. And there's one of the only churches that I know of, and I've been to a lot of churches, that if you've got an issue, somebody's there to, to assist you with that problem. Let me just say that first. But if you come into church, if you're making excuses, oh, I can't come because they're going to find this out. Well, that's, that's not a reason not to come. This is a hospital. If, you, if you're sick, you can get healed. If you're hurting, you can get love. Amen? But we think that we're going to take care of it. When I get it all together, then I'll come to church. I heard that many times. But what happens is that getting it all together, you never make it. You, you, never, make it, you never make it here. Amen? And what, what happens is we, we have professional Christians. You know, we all, what we're doing in all the, the big churches now, we're we doing elaborate uh, 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 um, uh, demonstrations and, and elaborate, uh, 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 what should I say, um, programs just to fill the seats. If we're here to follow instructions of Yahweh, our job is to reconcile this world back to him. Amen? There are some instructions for us to follow to, 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 to reach this global nation, this nation, many na all, every reach this world back. That is our job. But if we're so filled up in our own issues and our own problems, how can we reach the next one? Let me just say this. 
the reason why we're going through this, all the trials and tribulations is for that next person. Because you're going you're gonna to go through it. We all got to go through it, but you have to go through. If you stop at the, at, at the beginning with, when fear sets in, then you, he can't get the glory out of walking you through that, that issue. We have, to, we have to take the examination. We have to find out where we come short. Because we, we want to be the reflection. We want to be just like him. Amen? Amen. You know, our duty is to reach the masses. It's, it's an honor to, to be used by him. Amen? If, but if we start doing elaborate programs and just, so we can just fill the seats, then we're not doing what, what Yahweh has, has planned us to do. That is not the job. The job is saving that soul. It doesn't matter if the, if, if, if the seats are full, but if you're giving the word, if, you, if you're following the instructions of Yahweh and, and doing what he says and reaching that soul for him, then that's what's important. That's what's important. Not how, many, that, not how many people are there, but how many people who are loving the Lord. How many people who, 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 who are following his instructions. That's what the deeper life is all about. It's the examination. Amen. Is that when you follow those principles, you'll see that, you know, I, I'm coming up short here, so I, I, I need to do this. I'm coming up short up over here, I need to do that. You know, it's a constant, constant examination. That's all I'm telling us to do tonight. Amen? You know, our purpose is to bring that sinner to Christ and to get that soul saved. You know? And we can, we can do it with the love that we show, God's love, amen, that unconditional love. That's just, a, just, a, just saying yes, saying yes to them. You know, when I was thinking about this, and, and, I, and I see that, that when we all together say yes, you ever see like a Navy ship, and they're all in, in, on top of the ship, they're all in, in their white, they're all standing together. Everybody's on one accord. You know, there's no dissension among us, among them. When they're doing that. That's what I like. And when we all say yes, there's, there's an attraction that people want to be a part of. I mean, we, we, we watch the Navy. I'll be like, my God, I, that, that is so cool to be a part of that. Amen? But this is what I'm talking about. When we're, in, when we're saying yes, all, all together, that's what happens. The people, we draw all men to him. We, we're lifting him up. Amen? That's what I'm talking about tonight. Amen? We gotta be we gotta be perfectly aligned with every aspect of Yahweh. Every aspect. And some, we're gonna come short, but we gonna get we gotta get back up. You know, we can't get short and then walk away. You're like, oh, I can't, I did that already. I, I can't I can't make that happen. That's not what we do. You get back in there. You get back in the fight. He's gonna be with you always. I'm trying to convey this to you as best I can, because this this this. Time is short. Amen. The people, you, when you show up in a place, you may be the only God they'll ever see. I mean, if you're the reflection of Yahweh, then there's a hope that they see in you. Oh, that I, yes, I can make it. Wait, well, he, if he made it, if she made it, then I can make it too. Amen. But if we wallow in our pain and our mess and our uh, uh, hurt, then we. We can't move forward. Take the examination. It's about how we live in this life. How we follow the instruction. Amen? See, what happens is, you know, we have people who think they know. People who judge other people. Professional Christians who have been doing this all their life. Amen. And they think that uh, uh, we, 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 we can do this. Let me show you how to do this. This is how you do this. This is how, how, well, this one is not a part of our group. Amen. Then the click start. Amen. That, that's not what Yahweh wants. That's not what he wants. He wants love to show, show through us. He wants an attraction that when they see us, they see him. When we speak his word. Amen. We're trained in this church to speak, to study the red letters. Amen. And when, we, and when those letters come out, those words come out of our mouth, all every word that, that comes out is, 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 is his word. Right? There's none of us being puffed up. Amen? There is no arrogance in this. There's a boldness. 
but no arrogance. There's a difference. Amen? That's what I'm getting us to, to do today. I just wanted to just put, us, put this before us because we have a work to do. In Deuteronomy 26, 16, it says, This day the Lord that God hath commanded thee to, to do these statutes and judgments, that thou therefore keep and do them with thine heart and all thy soul. You know, when, when, I, when I read that, I, I, hear, I hear pastors... Pastor's voice, you know, he, he, he drills, it, drills, it, drills it into us about following instructions, about saying yes. There was one night, when he, one Wednesday night, when he preached, and he had been up like, for like two days. And he was had adrenaline really running. He was really moving. He was preaching the word, and he was talking about how fast we should be saying yes. And he was demonstrating, with, and he had moved so quickly. First of all, man that size moved that quickly is something in his own. That's already a miracle. But it was, it was amazing how, how understanding that there is, no, there is no doubt. If there's doubt, there, there, there's, there's, there's a slowing down of your saying yes. Amen. Does, does that make sense? There's a slowing down in you moving in God's instruction. And, and when he showed it, he just kept, he just, when instruction came, he just, he just moved. Instruction came, he just moved. Amen. And that's how we have to be. That's where how the, the, the training that we're getting here is moving us in, into, into that direction. You know, we have just can constantly just take that examination, constantly understand that sometimes, yes, we're going to come up short. Sometimes, yes, that we're going to angle, get, do it all right, the right way. That, but that's okay. But we'll come, if we constantly keep moving forward, constantly just keep understanding that, that we, we can make it happen if we just say yes. That's all we got to do. I'm sorry, I got cotton mouth right now. Please, I'm, please bear with me. <laughs> and I don't want to sound like I'm beating you over the head. But I do want to drill it into you that this is the way Yahweh has, has presented this to, to me. And I want to convey it to you as, as I hear it. Amen. I mean, this is not a time to, to, to live on the edge. It's not a time to have one foot in the world and one foot in the church. That, that's double-mindedness. We can't do that. This is a time to be fervently uh, with Christ as, as possible. Actually, nothing hinder us from serving faithfully. I mean, that, that's how we get blessed. Amen? Not blessed in the sense that we're trying to get something. But, but longevity, uh, 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 long life, uh, living in, 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 in confidence that no matter what comes my way, I can withstand it. Amen? With a simple instruction, yes, yes, I'll go. Send me, God, I'll go. Amen? There, there's no doubt. How, well, how can I, but can, can, can you send him like Moses did? Talk, call Aaron. He, I stutter. Let him go. But that's not who he, that's not who he was talking to. Go with your limp. Go with your stutter. You know? Go with your bad diction like me. You ever see me cut and slice the English language? I do it all the time. It's all. But, I, but you go with it. He'll use what you have. Moses had a, had a staff. That was it. I mean, the Lord, you can't give me an AK-47 something. <laughs> Take a couple of these people out? Come on. A staff? <laughs> but he freed <laughs> You have to move, and once you say, you don't worry about how that problem is going is, is gonna, to gonna manifest itself. How are you going to get through it? If he says yes, you go through, then you go through. One of the examples the pastor like to use is, you know, when you say to that mountain, be thou removed, you don't look to see, you run straight ahead because you, you have an understanding that God is going to make it move for you. God is going to get it out your way. Amen? It's a boldness. It's, it's, it's a... It's a it's no doubt. No second, no second thought. Never take that second thought. That split second, could, could, you can lose everything. Don't take the second thought. Amen? Amen? And I'm talking about some hairy situations. I mean, some of our, our members here, you know, who's been, was held up at gunpoint. I mean, you can think in your mind, you know, if I do a chop here, I can twist them around and... And what would happen? He would not have been here. He would have been shot. The Lord spoke to him, said, "Do exactly what the man tells you to do." And that's what he did. And at the end of it all, he got everything back that we were supposed to get. 
See, this, 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 this saying yes is also a protection. Amen? He keeps us. He, he, uh, he, he keeps us. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. I mean, our job today is just get rid of that double-mindedness. That's what I'm, I'm trying to get us just to say yes, to be single-minded, to be focused on this word and do what it says. Amen? In Matthew, uh, the, 20, the 24th chapter, 4th and 5th verse says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man be deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. This is the time that we're training up against. If we don't understand what God looks like or what Yahweh looks like or what Yahweh sounds like, we will fall for anything that comes to us. They say, yes, yes, uh, they have a, with, with, with a charismatic voice and they come with sharp dress. It's like, oh, that's, that's gotta, he's got to be anointed. That's got to be God. That's not what this does. This trains your eye, trains your mind, trains your spirit. Amen? To walk before you, no, no, that's not it. That, no, that is, that's not it. Oh, I recognize it. That's Yahweh speaking. Amen? We never were supposed to walk, around, walk this earth by ourselves. We don't have to. He's in us. And greater is he is in us than he is in the world. If that's the true statement, then what are we hindering our what are we hindering our service for? Because that's just what I'm saying. Why are we not just doing what he instructed us to do? Why are we not getting on that path with, that he set before us? Our success is at the end of that path. You just, just begin to walk. If you just begin to say yes. Amen? You have to understand that there are people here who don't know the training that we get. There are people here don't, who don't hear what we hear as we hear it. And the reason why I can say that because I was in another church and I was in several other churches and I understand, you know, what goes on in different churches. The training, I, even have, I have never heard the word training until I got here. You know, because when I was growing up in the word, when you hear a prophesied word, you, 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 you're going to run for it. Oh, I got I to gotta go gotta go do, what, do what the word says. You hear a prophesied word, you wait, you be trained. When the opportunity comes, it meets, and you move. That's the, that's the timing of it. Amen? But if you're not trained, if you're not, if you're not listening to what, what the word is telling you, if you're not saying yes, you can miss the opportunity. You can miss what God has for you. Not because God is on the wrong time time timetable. You're moving too fast. You're moving ahead of the Holy Spirit. That's time, that's why we have to be trained. And what I'm saying is, because we're being trained, we have to train others. Again, I go right back to the deeper life. You 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 have your three, and their three have three, and you're being trained up in the Word, and you're serving. You're learning how to serve each other. You're learning how to love each other. You're becoming best friends. And then when Pastor, bon, Pastor Dan does the, does the numbers, and I'm not doing the numbers right now, I'm just going to tell you, I ain't got no calculator, I'm not doing it. But it's the whole population of the world. Amen? We reach this world by love. But if we hinder ourselves, if we say, well, you know, this is, this is a bit much, I, I, I don't want to do all of this, I want to go with, 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 the, with, the, with the big music and the big band is, with the big churches is, that's, that's where I want to go, because I can sit in the back and just tap my tambourine and just go along with the world and just don't worry about it, because, you know, I'm back here, I'm, the Lord sees me, I'm good, I'm good, don't worry about it, I'm good, what about the next man, who needs you, who needs us? Amen? We got to think about how we're living. We got to live for him. We got to live for him. Because, you know, I, I don't like being deceived. That bothers me. I mean, I don't want nobody lying to me. You know? Some people look very good at it. I mean, come on. I mean, we ain't got to admit it today, but some of us have been deceived sometimes. No, it's all right. Nobody raise your hand. Don't worry about it. I know. But once is enough. Amen. And if you have the answer, why are you allowing yourself this? 
Amen? But what I'm saying is if, if, if we're not following his instruction, if we're not saying yes, then we are open to anything. We're not standing. If we won't stand for the we'll fall for anything. Amen? And then it hinders us from doing what Yahweh has, plan, has planned for us to do. Amen? Because our success is in that. Our success is in the path that he set for us. That's just a simple fact. Um, if you choose not to go, then you won't be successful. No, you can go ahead and try to be successful without him. Go ahead. I've seen about 10 years. Amen? 20 years. You still ain't there. Amen? And yet, and yes, yeah, you know, this, the demonic forces will, you know, give you gifts, you know, so you think you've, you've done, you think you've arrived. Yeah, that'll happen. But you're not... That house and mansion is not built on a rock so it can crumble and you can lose it. Amen. We have a work to do. This is a clarion call to take that examination because we have to be him here. We have to be the reflection. We have to, we have to say what he says. This is not in our own, this is not our, our design, but we are part of it. We just have to do, is do the work. Amen. You know, when we, when we say yes, I, I had did a demonstration before, you know, when we all get on one accord and say yes, it's like if you see a, a tennis racket and you see the woving, the, the weaving wires in between, it's real, real held tight, you know, if you've got a real good racket, you know. I mean, it's real, real tight. You can't get through it. I mean, it's real, real strong. Amen? But that's us. When we say yes, we're together. Can nobody move against us? Not a, not a demon in hell can move against us. Because we're saying yes together. No, 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 come here. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens, what is that racket for? Because the, the, the ball is coming. What's the ball? What is the ball? Disease, poverty, discord. Just knock it back. Amen? Knock it back. Because we're together. Amen. 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 And it's all right that the strings sometimes have to be re rewoven. That's when we come here and get filled with the word. We come here and get trained. Yeah. Now we're strong again. Yeah. Bring it. Amen. Amen. That's if we're all saying yes. If we're all taking that examination. If we're all taking that self-introspection. Inspection. Inspector? <laughs> okay, go with me. All right. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that reminds me I need to do a racket <laughs> except gifts amen all I'm saying is, is it's a very powerful thing that we're a part of this is a this is a new new understanding of this word I've been a minister of over 15 years but now I have a new understanding of this word I understand about being trained I understand about saying yes and I've been here a long time I just look incredibly young. <laughs> yeah, I don't like agree with that, but it's all right. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, that, that we are constantly, constantly getting new revelation of this word. And just, all we have to do is hear and do. This, this duality here, we hear and we do. We hear and we do. That's, it's just that simple. Amen? Because it says in this word, when you... When you take the instructions of Yahweh, you are called a blessed man. Amen? A blessed man. So what does that mean? Somebody who can get things done. Somebody who, who can make things happen for other people. What I like to say, a distributor. A distributor for Yahweh. So not of money, but of, 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 of love, of, of resources. That's what a blessed man is. I don't know about you, but I want to be a blessed man. Amen? Do y'all want to be a, I want to be a blessed You want to be a blessed man? A blessed woman? Blessed woman. I'll, I'll say that too. I don't want to exclude anybody. Amen? <laughs> I'm telling you. We have a work to do. We have a work to do. Amen. You know, in James, in James 1, 22 and 23, is it, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving, there's that word again. 
deceiving your own selves. So first you're deceiving yourself. Let's, let's get that clear and understood. If you're sitting here and just hearing the word and not doing what the word says, you're first deceiving yourself. Amen? I already said I don't like nobody deceiving me, but I'm going to sit here and deceive myself. Then there's something wrong with that. Amen? There's something, something wrong with somebody. If you're deceiving yourself, it makes absolutely no sense. For if a hearer of the word and not a doer, you're like a man who's, who's beholding a natural face in the glass. You know what that means? You sit there staring, looking at a mirror. <laughs> just, just sit there observing while everybody else is working. Then you know what? You become a hindrance. You become, you're in the way now. Because you don't want to do. You want everybody else to do around you. You know, volunteers know how that, uh, volunteers in here knows how that feels. Amen? But we do it anyway. Because we know we're honoring him. We have said yes to him, so it doesn't matter what anybody else does. Because we're blessed men and women. Amen? James 25 said, Whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Everything he puts his hand to will prosper. Amen? Because a simple action, he said yes. If you keep his commandment, everything you put your hand to, the Lord will bless it. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Amen? And I don't want to say that we're just saying yes to get stuff. That's not what we're doing. We got a work to do. We got a work to do. So we have to take self-examination of ourselves. We can't just, just continue on like, you know, that th there's, there's, there's nothing else that needs to be done. There's nothing else that I need to do for me. You know, they, we can't just say that we take all this for ourselves. You know, we come here, we put our mask on, just sit down. That's not what we're supposed to do. If we're saying yes, we're taking the mask off, we're saying yes, I will go for you. Amen? We're saying yes, you send me, I'll go. You say it, say it to me, say it to me then I'll say it. Amen? Amen? Not sitting here because we want to take God's glory and we want to get our name up in lights. Because some people do that, you know. You know, I ain't talking about nobody in here. But some people do that. You know, and it's like, it's like uh, you, you, you win a baseball game, the team, everybody is on a pitcher's mound. Not because they're a good pitcher, it's because that's where the limelight is. Amen? That's where the line, that's where people want to, oh, they can see me, I'm going to stand here. And that's what some of us do. You know, I'm going to do this because I want to be seen. Wrong church. Wrong church. We're servers first. Amen? You want to be a part, you get on the helps committee, you do and serve. And you work out your soul salvation. And, and pastor, the Lord would give pastor what he needs for you to do in the ministry. Amen? And, but I'm not just, just talking about this church. I'm talking about church as a whole. Because we are the church. Amen? And it's time to get our house in order. It's time to, get, time to, to do what the Lord has told, telling us, been telling us to do. But we find every excuse in the world not to. Oh, because, you know, because last Friday I had went because I was tired. Because, no, because then when she said, no, then I couldn't go again. The, noise. Anything that stands in the way from us doing. And I don't want to feel like that I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm whipping on us because we're here. We're getting it done. Amen? We, we're here. We're doing what Yahweh says to do. And why not just keep the water over here? I don't understand. But anyway. <laughs> Amen? I just want to make it clear to us that this word is the only way that we can, we can move forward if we want to move forward successfully. You know, when I read uh, the scriptures earlier in Matthew, uh, I think I started at 21, I went down to 25. The, the, other, the last two, two scriptures in, 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 in that chapter is uh, 26 and 27, uh, when it says that every man and everyone that heareth these sayings 
and my and do them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon sand and the, the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and, the, and it beat upon the house and it fell and great was the fall of it all. Amen? Don't know about you but that's not where I want to be. Amen? I want to be on, on a strong foundation. I want to be on the chief cornerstone. Amen? I want to be where he is. Amen. There's this strength there. There's this there's, there's, there's covering in there. Amen. We're covered there. We're safe there. He hides us in the cleft. Amen. I can hear the song in my head. Amen. That's where I want to be. I don't want to be on those, no, no sand. I want my house sinking. Amen. I want to wake up 10, 10 feet down. I don't want to do that. Amen. But that's what happened in houses. I just wanted to make that illustration. That's all I was doing. But I, I, I want to be on solid ground. I want to be where, where, where God tells me to be. I, wanna, I don't want to be where I want to be. I want to be where he wants me, where he needs me. I mean, I'll be his hand. I'll be his mouthpiece. I'll be his legs. Amen. Use me. Use me, Father. Amen. And that should be all of you. Why be living this, this life in your own strength? You're going to work hard. You're going to work really hard. You ain't going to get it done. You can't get it done. Amen? Because you're going to get frustrated, you're going to get offended, and you're going to leave. Amen? Psalms 37, 23 says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Amen. It's important that we allow Yahweh to provide instructions for our journey in life. Amen. Because I said this, there's prosperity at the end of that, that journey. Amen. When we get there, when we go through there, we come through as pure gold. And we will do his will. Amen. Let us not, let us not hinder ourselves. Amen. Let us not get in our way. Because we'll do that. Because we're grown. We can do we're big and bad and do, do what we want to do. Amen. But if we submit to him, as our pastor said, when we submit, it's a promotion. Amen. It's a promotion. When we say yes, everything that every resource that we ever will ever need, we have. Amen. Immediately. Because we're not in our own strength. We're not trying to create this thing. We're a part of his, his design. Why would you want to be off that calendar? Why would you want to be off that path? And it's all right if we're walking on the path and somehow, somehow we just get off it by some, some kind of uh, uh, situation that happens. It's okay. But as long as you've got to get back on there. That's what the examination is for. Find out where you're coming up short. Find out where you're not meeting the mark. Find out where you're not measuring up. And the only way you find that out is by sticking to this word. Being trained. Amen? Serving. Are you living the victorious life yet? Are you living it? Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. Ask, ask yourself why I'm not getting where I want to go. Why I keep missing the mark. Amen? Because what will happen is he'll, he'll lay it out for you. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I need you to do this. What I found out with Yahweh, when he tells you A, but you want to do B and C, he's not going to tell you B and C until A is done. Amen? So you can stand there all you want to and try to make things happen for yourself. But you're going to take longer. You're going to be tired. It's going to take you forever. Like walking in mud. I don't want to do that. Amen? Amen. I want to do what he says, tells me to do. When he sends me, I want to go. Amen? When he tells me, I want to say it. When he commands me, I want to do it. That's how I want to live my life. He can trust me. Can he trust you? Can he count on you? Can he believe in you? 
to do his will. Amen? Will you praise him? Will you worship him when he asks you? Amen? Examine your life. Examine where you are. Examine what you're doing. Examine where you're coming up short. When you hear the word, do it. Say yes. Amen? Who you listening to? Who you trust? Who you serving? Ask these questions. This is the examination part of this. Ask yourself these questions. Because when we discover Yahweh's instructions, we should not set them aside and lean to our own understanding. Amen? We should follow them closely. Because our destiny depends on it. Amen? You know, I, I saved that other scripture for, for, for the end because that's not where we want to be. We don't want to be like the foolish man and standing on. We want a foundation that we can believe in. We want a foundation that we have strength in. We want a foundation that keeps us. We want a foundation that, 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 that allows us to be who all we can through him. We are distributors of Christ. We are agents of change. All we have to do is say yes. He'll take care of the rest. You got to ask yourself, how are you living? Are you living the victorious life? If the answer is no, then take the examination. God bless you. Thank you. Give the Lord a hand. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Let's uh, keep cooking fire for the word. Amen. To Rocket, we'll take care of the offering. Hallelujah. Come on, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Let's you. Give the Holy Spirit some praise in here. Hallelujah. It's an awesome. Great word, Errol. Great word. Hallelujah. Uh, it's such a beautiful gift to uh, get to hear the Holy Spirit speak through different people. You know, and hear, just hear that special word that he can only give through Errol. You know, it's, it's a, it, you have to grow to have an appreciation constantly for the Holy Spirit speaking through different people. Because that's how you ultimately trust the Holy Spirit to speak through you, that it can happen, you know. And, and that's the beautiful part about our church you know that it's uh we break the mold <laughs> we don't we don't do church we just look look for Yahweh <laughs> amen amen so um at this time if you could uh, prepare your your offering say yes right now um to sowing a seed put a r real demand in this moment in this time uh to to get some more skin in the game. Uh, I know I was recently, last night, Dre and I were having an a epic, uh, or I was talking with Van earlier, telling him we were having an a epic uh, big time, like, spousal battle. Not, well, not with our fist, but <laughs> we, were, we were doing the iron sharpening iron part of marriage thing. And, um, and it's just... Uh, you know, there are times where uh, you're the when you're with people you love, and somebody's going through something. Uh, uh, that's a challenge in a moment. It's your challenge too, no matter what you know. And and you have to find ways to give yourself to that person in order to get to.